guys believe it i mean can you believe it we're actually here together again cry cry oh i'm so happy too <laughs> yo let's go i missed you guys we're doing it cheers to you cheers Yo, Netty! Guys. It's a long road back, but we're here. This is just water. <laughs> All right, everything's working. My new PC that I assembled. Oh, Don. Okay, I'll try to say hello to everybody. Like, instead, how about I just say, like, Everybody, hello. <laughs> Cindy was first. I, I, almost always, that's the case. We got a couple of new people. I'll, I will point you guys out. Planetary Go Go, hello. Welcome. Thank you. Heather Sites. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys all for resubbing. You don't have to do that, but I appreciate it. I'll take it. Yeah, it's all it's all the original gangsters. Everyone's back. Welcome. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, so listen, we'll hang out for a second and just like listen to tunes like we always do. Um, check out my, my new digs. I worked real hard. You know, I probably should have um, made like a before and after. I have some pictures. I guess I can show you guys those. Uh, but I didn't do any like footage or anything like that. I just wanted to work and get it done. And it's a bare minimum. What's up, little two? Hello, everybody. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to single everybody out because I'm out of practice, so. Hello, everybody. Welcome, and I thank you, and I love you. <laughs> the eyes are back. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna move this here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna pop out this chat. out. I'm going to put this here. So I can read it while I look at you guys. The background. Yo, do you guys like it? Okay, so like, can we talk about it? Because I'm really proud of my work. I'm not super handy. 
I, I gotta like be honest with you. I'm not like a handy person, so I really had to like dig deep to make this work. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm happy that you guys like it. It's bare minimum. Like it's like if you were here in the room, you would see the, you know, the lack of detail. Jen, hello, yes, the pizzazz. Uh, but you know, I think it looks good, and it the my vibe down here is nice. I've been making music. I got my piano mic'd up, got my violin mic'd up, got everything ready to go, you know what I'm saying? Holy shit, Stark! You guys, it's a good people. <laughs> yeah, I do say. Yeah, I do say, Cindy. I do indeed say. Uh, yeah, so what's new with you guys? You know what I mean? Like, for me, there's a lot that's going on. We'll get into those details, I'm sure. I thought I'd put on some fucking, you know, some chilled out music for us. I miss you guys too, man, for real. It's been hectic, I'm not gonna lie. The From the beginning of the year until this point, it's been, you know, it's been hectic, but things are feeling a little more normal. Yeah, how's everybody feeling today? Background looks nice, thank you, sir. Yeah. Loads of changes in Dawn's life. Yep, Dawn got an apartment. She's beginning her independence as a German power player. It's great to see you as well, sir. How's baking? Haley, what up? Hello, everybody. All right. Uh, can I tell you a little about what we're going to do today? Because I'm kind of excited about it. I saw one of my people that I like to watch on Twitch. Uh, I mean, it's like a huge streamer on Twitch. His name's Asmongold. He was playing this game, the Stanley Parable, and I wanted to play it. I thought it would be a good uh, launch back into the stream. Lucia. So that's what's going to go on with the game. I didn't want to play like Destiny or anything because I know you guys don't really love watching me play that game. So, <laughs> And I haven't played it in a long time anyways. Uh, I'll probably play some Outriders for you. There's other stuff going on too, like in life in general, but I will not, I'm not gonna blow my, you know, proverbial load, so to speak, here right now. It's okay, Stark, thanks for coming and saying hello, I appreciate it. Do we have a, a hype train? Oh shit, let's go. But yeah, there's cool shit going on. Some people know because, you know, I talk to some people. Uh, but I'm doing a lot of stuff, you know? I'm doing a lot of stuff for myself. For me. Not for anybody else, but for me. <laughs> I've been a busy beaver, yeah. I'm enriching my mind, okay? That's like a good way to cryptically tell you what's been going on. I'm enriching my mind. Yo, Kevin! Kevin knows. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. There's another good people here, guys. Kevin is a good people. These are people that I uh, am uh, in a Discord with and am in a Destiny clan. Or actually, you're not in our Destiny clan, but you hang out with us in Discord. Or are you in good people clan? I don't remember. I don't really play Destiny anymore. Anyway, he's a good people. Everyone say hi to Kevin. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, I started playing in a uh, symphony orchestra as well, which is really cool. Some of you guys know that. I've been having a lot of fun with that. First time chatter. Welcome. Stark, get out of here. Come play Destiny again. I, I, this is the thing. I jumped in to do a test for my stream, and I was like, oh, okay. Destiny, you know. Destiny's destiny, man. Like you, once you start playing it, you re like it feels so good and nostalgic. It was funny. I was recording myself just doing a test, and I was listening to this kind of you know whatever like bullshit chill playlist. <laughs> and I was running around in the tower, and I was like, I'm getting emotional. Destiny, <laughs> you always pull me back in. <laughs> Nikita, yo, what's up? 
Welcome to all the first timers. I appreciate you. Um, Dawn, right? Because Destiny, the thing about Destiny as a game, like those people that play it uh, will understand, of course, but it just feels a certain kind of way, right? And you play other games, and other games are great, and I love a lot of games, and I love, you know, I'm not like super particular. I like big games that are, you know, generally enjoyed by the community. I, I like those games. I'm not too hard of a sell, you know? I'm not like a hardcore or anything like that. But Destiny just feels a certain kind of way. Like you have some kind of other connection to your guardian that feels away. And if you play the game, you know what I mean. Especially if you try to get better at the game, then you really know what I mean. <laughs> it's got a vibe. You know, Destiny's got a thing. Destiny feels like coming home. I don't know exactly. <laughs> No, that's what I'm saying. The people that play it will understand. Like, you come back to it, and it just feels a kind of way. You feel connected to your character in a way that's different from other games that are first-person uh, shooter-type games or whatever. First-person perspective. Yo, Richard Vex, motherfucker! The stream quality looks amazing. Dude, thank you. So the streaming encoder, I'm using my GPU, but I'm recording at the same time with uh, using my CPU. I'm only at 15% CPU and I'm streaming at a high quality. I'm very happy right now. My machine is a monster though. I got a Ryzen 9 5950X. I got a 3080 Ti. So I'm I'm gonna be good for a couple, for a couple months. <laughs> Yo, should we get into this game? I have, Absolutely, or we can hang out for a little bit longer too. Like I know that we just started. It's okay for me. Whatever you guys want. Play Sims on my PC. Oh, uh, is a Sims the type of game that you need a lot of processing power or something? Lucy, Roblox. Yeah, see those kind of games I don't really get into. Wowtorio, I'm gonna play this game called The Stanley Parable. I have absolutely no idea what it is other than I saw uh, Asmongold playing it for just a couple of minutes on YouTube. And I could tell right away that it was one of those types of games that you were like, it's better if you don't know anything, you know? A level two hype train emo, guys, oh my gosh. Congratulations! You did a great job! <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that so much. I'm back. I'm back, Cactus. And you know what else, guys? I'm not just back. I'm actually going to have a little bit more fun with my stream, uh, like I used to, with some stuff. You know, just, you know, just keep coming back. That's all I'm saying. Shame you don't have GTA. Yeah. Just, you know, you can't play all the games, you know what I'm saying? You can't play them all. <laughs> it is goofy, yeah. <laughs> Smoke sash on your bout, dude, nice. How many people live in a state? Or a country where the smoke sesh is not going to land you in prison. I am one of those people. Yes. It's a good thing. Poland. Ouch. Yeah, I don't think it's legal there. You guys are pl getting plunged into uh, fascism as well, like America. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? Portugal, you guys are tolerant. That's for sure. Portugal is tolerant. Like, they're, it's not legal, but they don't really mess with you. <laughs> You'll get all sweaty, Haley, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's new to report, guys? I mean, tell me something about the world. Tell me something about your lives. You know what I'm saying? I guess it doesn't turn that way. Tell me something interesting about the world. 
Portugal is amazing. Yeah, Portugal is amazing. If you ever had the opportunity to travel to that part of uh, Europe, you definitely should. Your life has been going good. Cindy, is that true? I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, well, then I guess we started up at the right time so we can all hang out. That sucks, dude. Uh, what, well, like, what's the deal? You know what I mean? You encountered a Karen at CVS? Say something in my language? You can't make me. 10,000 subs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, mogu... Mogu da kažem vama sve da vam volim puno. Volim vas puno. <laughs> Well, I mean, obviously keep us posted, dude. You know, hopefully it turns out to be not uh, as crazy as it can be, you know? Replay. Lyon in France is the city where the cinema was born. I've been to Lyon. I've played there. So let me ask you guys something. You just landed a position in your local library and it will let you get your dream job. Awesome. Cactus is a author. You guys, she writes books. If I'm not mistaken, they're saucy. If I'm not mistaken, they're a bit spicy. <laughs> You're a librarian. Wait, wait, who's the author? Who am I mixing you up with? Oh, that's twice. Okay, I do mix you guys up, to be honest. Like, you guys are kind of like one awesome human being to me. Okay, your librarian. Twy is the author. And if I'm not mistaken, her books are saucy. <laughs> I think I'm right about that part, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> We are indeed, yes. <laughs> Haley, they, yeah, uh, Twy Between writes saucy books. If you're trying to get your sauce on. <laughs> yeah, if you know who Twy Between is, then you know, okay? She's great. She might show up at some point. Dominic, what's up, dude? What's contagious? Oh, my laugh. Oh, thank you, guys. I pre that's, you know, that's a compliment. I take it. She's at Phoenix Con. What's that? Thank you, Lucia. I appreciate that so much. You just got to, like, go unhinged with your laughter. You know what I'm saying? Don't hold back. If you're going to laugh, laugh. You know? It's good for you. It's healing. And, you know, maybe you'll get other people to laugh with you, and then you're laughing together, and that's even better. I'm just saying, you know? Better to be laughing. You know what I'm saying? Better to be laughing than, like, not laughing. <laughs> Do I, Holly? Do I look healthier? Was I not looking healthy? <laughs> I will say at the end there of my old house, I was probably looking a little sus. <laughs> I was probably looking a little sus there. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Uh, do I like Ricky Gervais? Yeah, I think he's great. Just a little crusty. <laughs> I'm bathed and fresh. I, sh I feel good. <laughs> I shaved. Yeah, you know, I thought to myself, maybe I'll shave now.
That could be like a new thing that I do. Shave. Regularly. I kind of want to start playing this game, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I will turn the music off, though, because I think that it's kind of like a, a thing where you got to be in it, you know? In that world. The world of the Stanley Parable. Maybe it's the shave. Vicky is good. She's at work right now. And then later, because right now it's movement uh, weekend in Detroit, the movement festival. And Vicky is, uh, you know, Vicky's big in the scene. So she's going to be out there. <laughs> okay, what is this game about, Cindy? I have no idea. And that's kind of the whole point. That's kind of the whole point. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be a kind of like, I don't even know what it's called. Let's see what the description is. What do people say about this game? Community content. No, I don't want to look at any of that because that could give stuff away. Do I need to go to store page? Very positive. Walking simulator, comedy, narration, indie. You're basically like just going through a story, okay? You, you start the game without knowing anything. You just start walking and like looking at stuff and there's like a narrator that tells you what to do and is guiding you, but I think it's like a trick too. Like I said, I have no idea. It's been a while. It's been a while. It has indeed. 420 is in three minutes. Quick, get your bongs ready. <laughs> Fire up your torches, you dabbing fools. Get ready to light up your J's, you classy motherfuckers. <laughs> have I played Phasmophobia? No, and I have it on my PC for a long time. Oh, Cactus, do you remember? That was a beautiful game, though. Uh, yeah, Inside. Inside was a great game. I really liked that. That was beautiful. Kitty Cat, thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. Let's play it. Phasmophobia. I will. I keep saying that I will, but I probably won't. I do want to play this game, though. Should we start? Dominic, that's, you know, that's funny, Dominic. A lot of people have actually said that exact thing. <laughs> Specifically. Charlie Ball, what's up? Oh, by the way, you guys, the new uh, Monster Cat web app works better than the one that used to be inside of Streamlabs because it doesn't work like that anymore. And it works better now. Uh, if you type in song, exclamation point song, like it actually will tell you what it is now, which is nice. <laughs> I knew I recognized your name, Kitty Cat. I was like, wait, that's because I'm in the Discord with you. <laughs> I'm gonna start you guys I'm gonna kill the music for now and you see how the little marker disappears when you're not playing it that's nice too because then it's not just stuck there you know what I mean like when the music is playing it pops up what's the status on the hot tub stream a lot closer if you I don't know if you notice here hold on a second Got a lot more room here to fucking stretch out, you know what I mean? Got a little room, room. 
<laughs> What's quiet? No, my levels are good. I've been doing tests for the last three days. I'm, I know I'm good. Turn up your volume on your phone. <laughs> uh, we're going to start this game, you guys. That is going to happen right now in this exact moment. Are you ready? We're doing it together. For the first time, baby. That's weird. Why did it do that? It makes it so I can't uh, see my stream page. The game's already fucking with me. Well, I can't see you guys, so I'll just... Uh... What in the actual holy hell shit is going on here? <laughs> Help! <laughs> is it a horror game? It says it's a... Narration game. But why is it doing this? I wonder. Option. Let me see the options. Video. Normal. Widescreen. Resolution. Okay. Display mode full screen. Run in a window. Borderless window. Always better. Overlay position, top left, fine, whatever. I don't know what that means. This stuff probably doesn't matter for now. Advance. I don't care about any of this. I don't think it matters for this stuff. But, I mean, we can go higher, right? Might as well go for it, right? Got a powerful ass freaking machine. Okay. Okay. Closed captioning. We'll put that on. Subtitles only. Full captions. Full captions. Yes. Right? I guess I don't need to, like... I almost reversed my mouse. That would have been funny. Uh, okay. I don't understand why it's doing this with my OBS and stuff. Though. Like, it's making it so I can't look at this and that. Well, I'm looking at you guys right now. I can't see you when I start the game. So let's just see what happens. Dude, it's so bizarre. Like, why is it doing that? <laughs> no, stop. Oh, my God. Does it do that because it doesn't want you to... Uh... It's like cheat. I don't get it. Like, I, I can't make it full screen. I don't understand. I just I just capture my monitor, you know what I mean? Yeah, let me see if I can do game capture instead. The problem is that as soon as I switch to this
it like goes away. Like I can't must play destiny. Then I'm not going to play destiny. That's for sure. No, it doesn't allow game capture. Bizarre. Outriders. I can also just turn the music back on. So I don't understand why that's happening. I did not uh, anticipate that the game would do this. Like, why isn't it going 1080p? I made it 1080p. Oh my god, dude. It's driving me insane. As soon as I try to make a change, it clicks away from the fucking thing, dude. <laughs> I'll never play COD. That game is so dumb, dude. It's like, it, yeah, I I don't like it. Okay, this is driving me insane. Does anybody have any input on this? And why it would do this? What does it look like to you guys, by the way, when I keep switching back and forth like this? Transform, fit to screen. Okay, what happens now? Show me. Did I do it? Did I figure it out? Oh my god, dude. Oh, this is dumb. I'm not going to play this game if it's like this. I'll figure it out later. We'll do a different game. Screen goes black, then shows your desktop. How stupid. I was so excited, too. I was like, oh, fun, new game. Look at how this is going to be great. How dumb. Like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to Google it together because I'm not going to give up that easily. All right, we'll do this one. We're going to Google it together. Do, 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 do. I'll turn on the music for you since we're just uh, watching me do this dumb shit. Am I the only dumbass that can't figure out how to do this? Like, why is this... Interesting, you guys. I, uh, there's nothing on there. Okay, I, I'm going to not make you sit through this. You enjoy listening to my heavy dad breathing? Do you literally hear me breathing? I have my, my shit uh, blocked off, I thought. <laughs> Pong anyone? Maybe it is going to be Destiny shit. <laughs> right back to where we started. <laughs> You don't hear me. What do you mean? Raid? Oh my god, no. No, I was going to say, I don't think so. I got my gate. Okay. Hey. 
want to duel Eye of Storm? I mean, do you want to play some... Uh... I wasn't really in the mood to play Outriders today. That's the thing. Let's see what else I got in my Steam. I, I got a couple of other games. Dude, it's so weird that it, like, it flung this, my Steam window, it flung it over to my other screen, and then it would show up in my OBS like a tiny little box. I, I, I didn't think that there would have to be, like, major, um, <laughs> setups to make it work, but I'm a dumbass, I guess. Confirm, yeah, exit the game. You lost me. You lost me, Stanley Parable. You were supposed to be fun and easy, and you weren't. You were stupid and hard. <laughs> what else did I download recently to play? Oh, Vampire. Blood Hunt is cool. That's a fun game. Do Elden Ring. I, uh, I don't really feel like it. DBD. I did play Dead by Daylight quite a bit, actually. Not on this PC, but yeah, I played. I got into it. We could play Dead by Daylight. I forgot how to play again, of course. The Pathless. Let me check that out so dumb that that didn't work. I'm so annoyed. I'm not going to lie. The Pathless. Let's see. Ooh, this looks cool. <laughs> what a Lego game. I, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong, so rather than make you guys sit through it, I'll just figure it out later and we can do it tomorrow. This looks like it's fun. You want me to download this real quick and play it, you guys? I freaking will skis. I freaking will skis. I'll do it right now. Watch me. Watch me. Agree. Purchase. Install. Let's see if it just destroys my stream. I think we're still good. Excellent. All right. Y'all are patient. I appreciate it. Yo, Swain. Hello. I like Dead by Daylight. I didn't at first, and then I started to like it. I got into it. I was like, okay, I'm going to learn how to play this game. And then I was like, oh, okay, it's actually cool. Lore. I missed you guys too. Favorite map on DBD? Uh, I, I don't know them well enough. I'll tell you which one I don't like though inside the school. Fuck that map. Especially when the killer is good. It's like, okay, got it, dude. Fun. Having a great time. Okay. Pathless. We're going to play it right now. 
Let me change my stream title real quick so I can be a good streamer. Lord have mercy. The pathless. The pathless. Beaky, 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 beaky. Okay, done. Updating. How annoying is that? I'll stop the music until we start the game. And then if it seems like the we can just listen to this music, then I will. Lore have mercy. Ayo! Have I played Hunt Showdown? Are you talking about Vampire Hunt? Blood Hunt? Dude, I love that game. Richard, you played Gears of War like competitively, didn't you? Were you didn't you go for it? Sync off full screen on. Oh, okay. It's a little bit lower there. Game options, we'll leave it for now. Oh, we just dropped all our frames, didn't we? This game said, nope. Graphics options. Okay, let me... Uh exit the game and restart it so that my stream comes back to life it didn't like that did it <laughs> it didn't like that did it <laughs> i guess my pc's got a limit <laughs> come back there we go we're back we're back okay i turned everything down let's see what happens now i might have to turn everything to super low for this game Sorry. It should be okay now. Uh, Miss Perfect Denial. It should be good. Oh, this game, like, I can't stream this game. Straight up. Dude, what the fuck? What is going on? <laughs> My god. Okay, low everything. Windowed mode. Another restart. I'm having uh, bad luck right now. Internet from Orange? No, my internet's... I have gigabit from uh, Xfinity, so my internet's fine. I just haven't done this in a while, so it's like, uh, you know, bear with me. Bear with me, guys. It's been like six months. All right. I'm out of practice. <laughs> Is Mercury still in retrograde? I refuse to blame the movement of planets on anything. Yeah, you are the exact opposite of proper. Proper fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see if it does it this time. If it's a if it doesn't do it again. We might actually end up playing fucking Destiny. <laughs> or 
or just sitting here listening to music. What's this game about, Swain? I have no idea. Dude, what the fuck? Let me just start the game and see if, like, if I get out of the menu, if it fixes, because sometimes it does that. Okay, that's all it was. I think... I don't... Dude, what the hell? I'm reading... Are you guys reading too? Hey, Jebby, what's up, dude? Long time. Okay, so now it says I'm good. So I guess just those menus were kind of fucked. The Pathless. We're good now. Some Destiny uh, menus do that as well. It just dr drops it down. I don't know why that is. Look at this beautiful game. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. I turned all the resolution down to the lowest so it's going to look like garbage, but whatever. Whoa, bud. I got to fix that. Sorry. How do I, ch oh my God, are you kidding me, dude? I have to be able to change this. I I'm starting to get annoyed by the game already. I'm not going to lie. Can I really not change my level of mouse movement? Okay. I'm not going to be able to play this game like this, but. I'll try. Zumbi, what's up? I mean, it, it, I move my mouse about one centimeter and it moves 45 degrees or 90 degrees. I, I, like, that's too crazy. <laughs> I can't do it like that, dude. No, I mean, like, how do you change this? Can somebody, like, Google it? How do you change... Like, I literally can't play this game like this. <laughs> like... <laughs> All right. I, I guess I'll just try and see what happens. Did I hit it? I'm dashing. I'm dashing, y'all. Hug from Spain. I love the style. It's cool. That's for sure. It's 100%. Motion sickness? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Phase is here, guys. Everything's okay now. Look at this beautiful bird. It's a phoenix. The bird... Motions to the right and says, please shoot that thing. That is your goal. Save me. Mm, yes, here's a powerful talisman for you. Yes. <clears throat> hey, Shelly. I got a powerful talisman, yes. Okay. I have one powerful talisman. Does that give me the power to dash? Is that the deal? And that's my momentum. Movementskis. 
That's what it seems like. Oh, this is annoying though, man. Like, why can't I change it? There has to be a way. Camera orbit speed medium low. No, that's not it. Hmm. That was it. Okay. Okay. That, it, this game feels crazy, but uh, I will. I will do it. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens. What's the name of this game? It's called The Pathless. And uh, I am clearly without path. As you can see, I have no clue what's going on. Can I jump on this bird? No. No. Oh, I see. I can't get up the stairs. The bird's like, I'm in the way. Ivana, this is my sister, everybody. She is a mother. <laughs> she is a mother of a child. Oh, the pathless, I see. I think I have found a path. I'm going very fast, and I like it. There's no more path, dude. Oh, this is the beginning. I have found no path. Ride it like a surf fort. <laughs> Ones who are path free. I think the key here is uh, how you time it. Can I climb these walls? No. All right. This game is awesome. I will figure it out. Praise be. May the Lord open, dude. May the Lord open. Under his eye. May the Lord open. Oh, oh, what's this? This is a room. I have found a room. There's a dead thing. My God. Maybe no path is the path, dude. I mean, you know, that's a profound statement. I appreciate it. Are you guys having problems? Because on my end here, it says I'm all good. Toggle to see secrets and distant landmarks. Okay. Toggle. Can I do something with you? Oh, that's another button that I can use for that. That's also a jump. Why is that a jump? Oh, I see. All right. They want you to... All right, okay. I think I understand that a little bit better now. Thank you. Look at this movement. Okay, I think this maybe it might be. How do I get out of this valley? <laughs> oh. 
Was there anything else in here that I missed? Oh, I can go through. That's what I missed. <laughs> Smart. Smart. Vanessa Peruviana. Oh, que lindo. First time chatter. Long time viewer. Welcome. There's something up here. My god, what is it? The battle between the Eagle Mother and the God Slayer was the worst thing my eyes have ever witnessed. If she has fallen, the worst has happened. Now who will stand against the God Slayer? Hmm? Who will stand against the God Slayer? Hmm? Oh, you, I used my powerful talisman for something. Go towards big red things. Simple enough. Thank you. <laughs> I, my feeble mind can handle that. Thank you. <laughs> Go towards big red things. That's great advice, actually. Just in life in general. The game really is like, you move slow if you don't shoot the diamonds. Big red thing. This way. Uh. Ow. Oh, I see. I gotta wait for the whole thing to fill up, dude. Can you drown? <laughs> I like to go fast. Even a good night. Thank you for coming. It was very kind. You are, after all, a mother. Dude, what did I just shoot? Sweet! Oh, thank you, yes. Back there. Ay, ay, ay. Tomo san. Tomo being anime as fuck. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Those things do that for you. Beautiful. The sound of loose arrows. You low-key love it? You sick, twisted monster. Just kidding. You're not. You're wonderful. Can you fall off stuff? Oh, I don't have a thing. Where do I get another powerful talisman? No! You want a crepe? Well, th I think the goal here, Cindy, is to uh, keep shooting the things to keep my momentum so I can be fast. As you can see, you can fuck up your flow. Scheiße. Can you drown? I have to know. I have to know. No. Well... Look at that! It says no, Tomo. It says no, 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 no. Okay. Go back. I'm gonna go back, okay? You can call me whatever you want. I don't care. Just don't be offensive, you know? So the timing of that is uh, not as obvious as I initially had anticipated. You get lost in that world? I'm already lost. I don't know what's going on, but it's fun. Good suggestion for sure. Settle down, bud. How about that? Why don't you just pipe down a bit? Powerful talisman! Mine for the taking, yes. Mmm, oh. yes, quite powerful talisman, yes. Is it auto aim? No, dude, I'm aiming the shit out of that stuff. No, no, I'm just fucking, like, literally don't miss any shots. I'm so good. <laughs> I guess I can't go backwards. Oh, you lose your momentum fast. Mm, yes. Aim Labs. No, no, no. I do Kovacs, bro. 100 hours a week. 10% <laughs> off at Aim Labs. <laughs> you, too, can have aim like this. <laughs> no, I'm not going to just say some word. Nice try, though. Uh... I'll be right back. I gotta go pee-pee.
Okay, I'm back. Keep playing this game a little bit more. I think I'll just leave this uh, music on for this game, right? Like, we don't need this game music. Right? the jewels i like it so uh nikita what i'm broadcasting on my end it looks like it's good so if you're having internet issues i'm sad to say but they are your issues i don't i can't do anything to help you there unfortunately to do here golly oh hell yeah brother where do I keep finding these games from fantastic viewers just like you <laughs> sorry Twitch takes a lot of bandwidth. Yeah, you can lower the resolution. I'm streaming at 1080p now because I'm a big shot. <laughs> Say something to me, friend. The God Slayer is no longer a man if he ever was. He's something more and something less. DLH. DLH Vibs. Thank you very much, uh, DLH Vibs. The effort of changing the screens. It feels like it's far away, right? <laughs> Move just a little closer, though. that's fine. It looks dope, no cap. Cool. Great. I'm happy you like it. I too am having a good time playing it. It's it's a you know, it's cool. It's I want to see what the challenging part is. Powerful talisman. I put an auto Andy. A freaking powerful talisman over there. Play Cyberpunk. You know, I hear the game has been improved quite a bit. I did enjoy playing it in the beginning. Play Dead by Daylight again. I, it's on the schedule. Today's the first day. I wanted to play that game, The Stanley Parable, but it was all, uh, you know, it's all it was all messed up. Dude, did we move the bird? Almost. I think the game's telling us to continue down this path. I feel like maybe I should turn this down just a little bit. 
You have COVID? No. The challenging part is finding the path. FaZe, you're here. Can you figure out why it was doing what it was doing? Uh, let's pause for a moment, if you don't mind, guys. Uh, Sir FaZe, when I started the game, it made my Steam application, whatever window, go from this monitor to that one. And then it popped up the game here. And then when I went to try to put my Streamlabs screen back up on my other monitor, it flipped out and it made the game disappear. And then I could see my OBS and it was like a tiny little box in the top left corner of, you know, my window, my main window or whatever. Do you know why it's doing that? Because I really was excited to stream it. I thought it would be fun. Because I have no idea what it is, you know? Tell me something, brother. I see the steli. What is that word? The steel? Stella? Can somebody tell me? What's my opinion on monkeypox? I don't know anything about it, so I have no opinion. I heard that it's uh, here, and that it's not something that we need to worry about too much. That's what I heard. That, other than that, I know nothing at all, so. Thank you, Lore. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, FaZe. Tomo-san's basement. Yeah, that's right. The Eagle Mother birthed this world, but she does not demand its direction. She rests in her nest high above. She will only descend to our realms in times of great happiness. Or great danger. Mmm, yes, quite. Wait, where am I going here? There's a dude up there. I go this way already? Oh yoy. Oh yoy. Oh yoy. Isso se bojo drag em moi. Chovietia, ye bote pas mater either, ye bote mater. Is this the room that I came in originally? The spirit mask scratched away the ability to see the cracks in the world finds man's most relevant. I will come back to the bird now. Tell me, bird. Will you speak to me again, yes? Something happened. Glenda! What version of the game do I have? The Stanley Parable, the regular one. The bird has risen. It's been a while, Glenda. Welcome back. You guys, Glenda was one of the winners of one of my contests. The Stanley Parable, not the Ultra Deluxe. You guys, I opened up the staircase. Speak Polish? I don't know how.
I'm in the small part. Yeah, is that okay? Look at the bird. Hi, birdie. You love them. Hell yeah. Contest winners here win, and they get their prizes. Unless you live in South America, then you're fucked. Sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yo, she came here to undo the evil. Oh boy. That guy easily blocked our attack. Shit. Three solutions. Okay, thank you, dude. I'll play the game tomorrow then, guys, after I figure it out. I, I honestly just thought it would work. I didn't think that I would have to do any testing, so it's my bad. That's my bad. Hey, that's on me, all right? That's on me. Karina! Yo, how are you doing, dude? Are you safe? I mean, you're on here, so I guess it uh, you're probably okay at the moment. Mortal Kombat? Oh, shit. They killed the bird, didn't they? And I missed it because I was blabbering like an idiot. The floating aisle. Looks, you know, not super inviting. Eris Morn's Red Sister, yeah. Eris Morn is like my style, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm into it. I'm assuming that I will be looking for these symbols around the world. Welcome, everyone, by the way, who just got here. I, this is, you know, this is a cool game. I, uh... I could see myself if I wasn't streaming, like, going kind of deep on it. It is beautiful, though. Oh, look at the little birdie. <laughs> I want to help you, because I love you. Pet eagle, okay. Be my friend, please. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm petting the eagle and restoring the strength. Ha <laughs> ha! Make it sing to classic rock. How much longer do I have to, uh, rub it? <laughs> oh, I think I'm done. I can exit. Okay. <laughs> You're safe. Okay, I'm happy to hear that, dude. I, I think about you guys a lot. You know, I just didn't know if I should reach out. Because honestly, I didn't know if you would even get my messages, to be honest. Uh, Karina is in Ukraine, guys. Just FYI. Send good thoughts and all that shit, you know what I mean? Oh, look at my little bird following me, oh my god! Dude, hell yeah, baby. Let's go, little dude. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> I love him. Let's go, bird. Always look around every corner, guys. Rule number one. Gamey rule number one. Look behind. 
Look behind you first. Just before you do anything, just look behind you. Or to the left of you. Beautiful. Do you have anything to say to me, friend? No? <laughs> Bird sat on his head. I love it. Sit on his head, too. Do it. Sit on his head. Yes. Thank you. Have you anything to say to me, friend? Wait, is this the type of thing where I got to go get that other uh, weight and bring it here? Let's check just to make sure. I can't give him the beggy bag. Yeah, I do need to get it. Oh. Came up that. I got that from there. I guess I can't do that, right? Let's go up the stairs and see what happens. I didn't even check. Getting ahead of myself. Can't shoot stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. If you guys are talking about Stranger Things spoilers, by the way, just keep in mind I have not watched it yet, so try to keep that to a minimum, because I'm looking over once in a while, actually. like hell no oh look at the little scared bird look at the little guy okay he won't do it birdie does not like to be in here those are some real facts of the world What's behind this secret magical door? <laughs> ah!
Okay. Gonna listen while you head home. All right, Nader. Oh, hell yeah. We got gliding skills now. Shit. Boots and hats. Boots and cats. Boots and cats. Boots and cats. 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 Oh. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put this here. Drop it here, please, birdie. Yes, yes, put it here. Yes, thank you. Yes, very good. Now we will fly. Yes, now I get it. Thank you. Place it here, please, buddy. Yes. Very good. Yes, very good, buddy. Hell yeah, brother. You are going to go. Will I be on for a while? It'll be a little bit of a shorter stream today just to, you know, to get through it. Um, so maybe for like another hour and a half or two. Hey, Cammy, you got a full close and all that jazz. I understand. I'm going to do a load of laundry as well when I'm done. Dude, we're flying up, dude. The music kind of is like oddly fitting right now. Okay, so that's the new thing. Not fucking that up. The adventure begins! Okay! It's kinda hard. There's a pile of awesomeness here. I want it all! Oh my god, I love it! You can flap while gliding. Collect more crystals to be flapped for additional times in the air. Oh my goodness. To flap, first start gliding. Oh, I see. That gets you to go up into there. Got it. So when I need to reach higher heights, I can flap my wings. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, okay, let's see that. The Forest Plateau, yes. I missed you guys too, man. I'm happy to be back for real. Zephyr Che, what's up? Am I about to have a boss fight? I'm not ready. And what are you for, huh? I better just leave it there until I figure it out. I just do. Hey, Panda. Minion, what's up? I'm coming, Birdie. I'm so sorry that I brought you here. I'm so sorry, my little bird friend. Oh, you didn't see me. No, you didn't. No! Oh! I'm so close to you, bird friend. Okay, so... Pet eagle, yes. I'm sorry, little bird friend. I'm sorry, bird friend. I didn't mean to do that to you, my little bird friend. <laughs> no.
Okay. Feeling better, Birdie? Excellent. Bye, Indy. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go to a little break here because I want to ask you guys about that. Tell me about uh, who saw the concert or either of the concerts that I performed in violin. I'm curious if you guys watched it. I mean, I know some of you did, but, you know, since we're here talking about it, I figure, why the hell not, you know? Peacemaker, yo, I I watched it like the first six episodes, and I, for some reason I got off of it. You saw my dashing tail, so I'm not very good at the violin. Uh, I can barely play the music because the orchestra that I play in, even though it, we struggle, we try to play the real pieces. So it's like, <laughs> you know, it's not easy. Violin is hard. <laughs> But um, I really enjoy it. I love the hell out of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep practicing. You finally saw me in the second one. All right, nice. It's a shit show, you know. I'm not gonna lie. Like I I definitely, the principal players they they carry a lot of weight in that orchestra. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh, he plays viola. That's awesome. No viola jokes. I promise. <laughs> CB Yago. Is this Yago Bonardi? Yago Bonardi. Hello. I'm doing my best. I've, I've, I improved a lot from the first concert to the second one, so I'm happy with that. Um, and by the next concert season, I expect to be even better. So, you know. Hell yeah. Violins and violas are different, yes. <laughs> They're very different, actually. Uh, different string names or thicknesses or pitches, I guess you would say. Uh, the clef is different. You wouldn't have been chosen if you sucked. It's a community orchestra. Like, you can just go play if you want. <laughs> but I didn't get asked to leave, so that's good. <laughs> Yo, KG up in this motherfucker! How you doing, dude? I'm happy that you're here. Thank you. So it is you, Iago Bonardi. Correa Bonardi. Welcome back. We sound good. I'm not I'm not knocking us. I'm just saying, like, the music is hard, and it's difficult for a lot of the people to play it, you know? What I say is that our principal players, they're just, you know, they're carrying a lot of weight. That's all. <laughs> will you see... You will see me in more concerts, yes. I don't know when the concert season starts, but uh, probably at the beginning of the school year is what I imagine. No one darted off the stage in tears, so we did good, yeah. Exactly. As long as nobody runs off stage in tears, it's, like, really a successful concert. <laughs> Pazito. Dude, I'm back, baby. It reminded you of high school band. That's what it reminds me of. We're playing in a middle school. Why is it posting the song twice? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I am not in control of it. It's just a web app, so... Thank you guys for uh, all that stuff. Appreciate it. I had so much fun. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? I love it. I go to rehearsal every week. I show up early. I help. Uh, I help break down the chairs and stuff. I'm like useful. I'm back, baby. I'm back. Yeah, I really enjoy it. 
it's like a super good time and like i said it's challenging violin is hard to play and the music is hard to learn so it's it's good for my brain you know it's good for my mentals you know what i'm saying it's good for my mentals you know what i'm saying though I noticed a huge improvement between the two concerts, Don. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the first concert, I had very little time to practice. My violin teacher, who is the concert master of the orchestra, that's my teacher. He was like, just just come play. Like, you can, you can do it, you know? So I didn't have very much time. I only had three rehearsals with the orchestra and, like, just a couple of weeks to learn pretty difficult music. Like, Scheherazade is not easy at all. It's... You cackled when I said I'm always early. Yeah, you goddamn right, dude. Punctuality is respectful. <laughs> um Yo, Pazito, I haven't played Destiny at all, dude. My light is 1520. Um But yeah, so like for the second concert, I had the music from the beginning at the same time as everybody else. So it was still pretty hard. I didn't play everything totally correctly, but I played it all. You know what I mean? It's been good, Beastie. How are you? Sammy, do I have perfect pitch? I don't. No. I have pretty good pitch, though. I have pretty good pitch, you know? My relative pitch is solid. I can't, uh, like my, my A440, I have, I think, a pretty good solid reference of that in my head. Yes, I can actually read the music. I know how to count. <laughs> Go me. <laughs> yes, I did know that, Haley. You're always early because of mental illness. <laughs> You're 100% tone deaf. It's a sad thing to be. I, I feel for people like that. Because not being tone deaf is awesome. You know? But you still can appreciate music and you still love music. You just can't follow along if you're trying to sing along. You haven't read sheet music in years? Dude, I got fucking binders, bro. Hold up. Hold. Binders. Binders. Thanks, Zephyr. I appreciate that. Can you see? Shit's hard, dude. <laughs> Gonna go get chill. Be chill with us here, Panda. Get chill here, yo. Good stuff. I had to, yeah. Less preludes, dude, from List. This shit was crazy. The 12 8 section. <laughs> that part is not easy, dude. <laughs> It looks like it's easy. It's not that easy.
Hey, but you know what? I fucking did that part. That's one of the my shining moments of the show. That section was like a like a. It was like a hill for me, you know. I was like, if I can play this part by the time we hit the show, I'm gonna be feeling pretty good. And if you watch the YouTube performance, let's preludes we closed with is the last piece we played. Or no, I'm sorry. This was the first piece we played. And I did it. Yo, Joe, mama. Giuseppe, hello. Dude, what's up? Doesn't look easy at all. Well, I just mean like in the sense that it's it's just arpeggios, you know what I mean? Like it's basically just chords. But on violin it's hard. And 12-8. You know, it's not that hard to count 12-8. It's just sometimes it's difficult because of what the other players are doing. The composer writes it in 12-8 to make it make sense on the page. You know what I mean? Because really, you could just count that as 4-4 four, four as well. Uh, but yeah, it's. I was really proud of myself. I'm not going to lie. Like That was one of those moments where I was like, you did it, dude. You fucking did it, bro. <laughs> you fucking did it. You played the part. <laughs> Oh, man, Vanessa. Well, I'll try to speak a little slower to translate so many. Are you translating for a group of people? <laughs> I just imagine Vanessa with, like, a bunch of other Spanish people in the room, and they're just sitting there watching, and then she's trying to translate to them, but I'm talking too fast because I blab her mouth. <laughs> I guess we're just hanging out, you guys. Maybe we're just hanging out. A little full screen action. Because I also am not going to lie, like, part of me... Wants to just uh, chill with y'all, you know what I mean? What was I just gonna do? Oh, yeah. This. Yeah. Marching band freshman year, you did Chicago music. Oh, hell yeah, that's awesome. smiled and clapped. Dude, that's hilarious. Play a little bit of the violin. Uh, Maybe tomorrow I will, Luchier. I have my studio set up. It's literally just right there on the other side of all this. And I have my piano mic'd up. I have my violin ready to go. So tomorrow I could play a little bit for you guys. Probably not much. I wouldn't expect it to be like a music stream, but maybe I'll embarrass myself. Why not, right? <laughs> Yo, how many people watched the uh, trial? <laughs> I wish I was streaming during that all because I would have been uh, I would have been streaming the shit out of that. <laughs> Dude, the, the Depp trial and the uh, the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial is going to be such an amazing made for TV movie. I cannot wait for the lifetime version of that. <laughs> It's going to be so lit, dude. Oh, fuck. Oh, man, it's good content. Did you guys see how many viewers Asmongold was having during his uh, Depp Heard streams? He was getting like 200,000 people watching. <laughs> Pretty amazing. They played Pirates of the Caribbean. Nice, dude. It was so informational. I mean, you know, I'm not going to say too much, but I think it's pretty clear that jumping to conclusions is never a good thing. Never a good thing. 
I've been watching uh, highlights. I don't watch the trial itself, but one of the people that I love on YouTube and Twitch is Admin Gold. I just think he's great. And uh, I watch his re replays of it, Asmund Gold clips and stuff like that. Your nephew played cello in sixth grade. Your boss texts you every night for updates. I know, dude, it's it's hilarious. I mean, the the amount of people that were watching that, I, I there is a channel on YouTube called the Law and Crime Network. I think that they're probably their average viewership of a live stream is probably somewhere in the like the tens of people. <laughs> They were having like 800,000 viewers on on YouTube stream, dude. <laughs> Asmund Gold is great. I mean, like, I think that some people would disagree with his take, but I, I personally think that he's a very level-headed and has a very honest, um, you know, really unbiased kind of opinion on things. I appreciate his view. I think he's really smart and thoughtful and i think that he has a great uh perspective that i like to listen to you know moon vault yo what's up dude the pathless of all giant squids games are so good okay so i noticed when i bought this game that there was like five million other ones to choose from so this game is cool so far i just haven't streamed in a long time uh so i'm just sitting here talking to people because i miss everybody so much I like to watch Hassan as well, of course. I think that's a given, though, if you're, like, any kind of a, you know, socialist scum like me. <laughs> oh, I bet Eddie was, dude. Oh, man, Eddie loved the turd. He was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, not bad, right, dude? Can you guys give me a little update on stream quality? I've played Journey Moon. Hey, we talked about it actually. Or no, no, no it wasn't you and me. Uh, I think it was either Stark or maybe somebody in Good People. One of the girls was like, "That's Moon Vault's literally favorite game." It's so I literally I, I I was close to tears at the end of the game when I finally realized what was happening. I was just like because I was f feeling like emotional about my brother anyway who had passed away and I was just like, man, this game is good, dude. Like, holy shit. <laughs> I was like, some games just get you like that. That was one of them. Whoa. It really got me. Beautiful game. Okay, so maybe it was Stark. Yep. I was playing it and she was like, yo, Moon like loves this game. <laughs> No, it, it got me. Like, it hit me. And it hit me because, like, the timing of it, I was already feeling a kind of way. You know, you know, like, you think about shit. It's like I was in a in a, in a a period where I was thinking about my brother a lot. I was playing that game, and I, I'm just like... <laughs> you cry when you play Sims? A great, a great story delivered properly will hit you it doesn't matter what the medium is painting music video game movie book it doesn't matter what poem if it's done the right way it will it will get you it will fucking hit you oh yeah zumbi you're in japan we haven't talked so how is it you're finally there you're living there That's hilarious, Haley. <laughs> That's a really deep and detailed situation in Sims. <laughs> Panda's back. Excellent. The only Sims game I ever played, and this will show my age quite a bit, uh, was game called sim city 2000 or something like that been there two weeks it's great i'm so happy for you for those that don't know zumbi has been here for a while and she was uh kind of working really hard and going through a lot of stages to get a you know a desirable job that would bring her to japan she's a teacher if i'm not mistaken and she got chosen to teach English to kids in Japan. 
Am I right about that? Was it English? I could be wrong about that, but I think that you're a teacher and I think you got the job and we think that's awesome. And so now she's there, she's in Japan, she's living there and it's like super exciting. You know, we're here, we're all about people following their fucking shit and achieving that shit, you know what I'm saying? My man is ancient, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> You're older than me. There's, there's, there are people older than me. I mean, they, they exist. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I'm not the oldest person in the world. I'm just really old. <laughs> Faze, are you still here? I have to tell you something. You might have left. You completed your first week. Yep, English. Hell yeah, dude. That's so awesome. So awesome, dude. I, I, I love to hear it. I'm very happy about it. Very happy about it, for sure. You played Atari. Me too. Me too. You're older as well. See, people are older than me. Assholes. <laughs> okay, FaZe is still here. Yo, just uh, nerd stream stuff. You want to know how powerful my PC is? I'm streaming with uh, the NVIDIA encoder, the new one, at very high bitrate, even though Twitch is only letting me go 6,000 right now. Uh, but I'm recording at the same time on slow preset with 20,000 CBR, dude. Just fuck, and my my CPU is at twenty percent, bro. <laughs> and I'm streaming on a Wi-Fi. I'm not even connected hardwire. <laughs> Feeling powerful, dude. Just like ooh, PC power. <laughs> Phase gets it. He knows. X two six four. By the way, I'm using X two six four on my recording. Slow, dude. Did I get an upgrade? Yes. Dude, my new PC, 3080 Ti, and my, uh, dude, I have a Ryzen 9 5950X. I just went for it hard. I just went for it. Built an awesome PC because I deserve it. Because I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. And doggone it, I think at least one person out there likes me. <laughs> You're level 26. I'm level 42. Phase is like, what? <laughs> yeah, no, my PC now, I literally play every game. <laughs> Dude, I'm playing Destiny on everything at the absolute highest thing, and I'm still getting like 400 frames per second in game. <laughs> I am, uh, I've been back in Michigan for 10 years, Zephyr. And Detroit, I left Detroit actually last August, and I live downriver in a s small little town called Lincoln Park. I love it. I'm so happy that I moved. Honestly, this house, like, yeah, it's, it's I'm very happy here. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just very happy here. Virgos are your favorite signs. Is it because we're so thorough in all that we do? <laughs> 42 is your all-time favorite number? Lucky me. Phenomenal cosmic power that tomorrow has become this awesome. Is that a mistype? Your birthday is 420. Hell yeah. I guess I don't have a... Uh, let me fix something on this page. Live stream editing. Browser source. Add source. Monster Cat, add source. Whoops, hey now.
That looks fine like that, right? It's the answer to everything, 42. Mario was not the first game. No, no, I played video games for many, many years before Nintendo even existed. Many, many years, actually. Bottom left corner looked better than this? Okay. I just didn't know if you could see it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see the words a little bit better. How's, how's that? Is that good? <laughs> can you read the words there, though? Ah, oh, whatever. You can hit exclamation point song if you're really, really dying to see it. What about top left? What about top left? Let's... Oh, God almighty. This is a disaster. Top left is not bad, dude. Do the lights change colors? They sure can. But I'm not going to do it. Oh, you're smart. FaZe is a smart guy. Thank you for thinking for me. I appreciate that. Now he's going to go on about his lights. I'm not going to go on. I got the lights because I wanted it to have a certain look. And it has that look. I don't even know if I'll change the colors. I use this LED strip as my main light so I don't have to have lights anymore. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and other than that, you know, we're chilling. What were you doing in Los Angeles recently? I haven't been to LA in since before the pandemic started, so you got bad info. <laughs> you got bad info. Hey, Marnelli said, Gospodine Gakosi, Dobro Doshli. Legit, just LED lights powering up my face. I have a beam in my basement right here, okay? And I have a 24-foot long LED strip that goes from there all the way across the beam there, and then I double it right here in front of me. So I have like a little, like a, like a little bar of light, and it's just right above, it's perfect. I mean, it's just like, skin's looking flawless in this filter. Chiller needs food. Go feed the go feed your brood. I hope to see you again, Cactus. It's always, always good to see you. Yo, Nate! You guys, nasty Nate. Nate, it's you, right? This is somebody that's known me since we were in middle school. How many people can even say that? And is still alive. <laughs> A lot of our friends have died, man. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, smoke them if you got them, motherfuckers. Weed's legal in Michigan. Faze, I'm a consultant now for uh, man cave decorations. If you need consultations, please let me know. <laughs> oh, the eyes are part of the stream. You know, the eyes exist. They're watching always. Why can't I subtitle? Uh, you know what? Elena, that's really smart. I'll put that on my list to do because I should get that bot that subtitles for me. I'll just find out what us, what Hassan uses because that one works really good. Actually, maybe Haley knows because she's like a super fan. Just send me the dimensions. I don't even need a blueprint. Just give me, uh, just give me, please, X, Y, Z dimension. I will give you a beautiful backdrop. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> <clears throat> J 
just rolled up. There you go. Are you guys fucking raging, bro? Oh my god. Movement! Woo! They just do it, yeah. No measurement necessary. Please, just give me one chisel. You just set it down at the grinder. Dude, Nate, we should, like, get together, man. <laughs> I live down river. Where do you live? I live in Lincoln Park. Do you still live in Troy? Do you still work in the family business? I see you still partake. Bless your heart. Me too. Pride starts this week. Hell yeah. Happy Pride. In Clawson, but close. Dude, I've been good, Angel. Thank you. Yeah, I moved to Lincoln Park. I was living in Detroit for like uh, about close to 10 years. And I sold my house there and I moved to Lincoln Park and I fucking love it, dude. I seriously love it. It's so good. Yeah, feel free to promote that, uh, Panda, whatever you're talking about. Because, you know, the more you know, less propaganda, more fact. It's always a good thing. Good night, Cindy. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. It's good to see everybody. This is my basement. Uh, I bought the house in August, and the basement was a fucking disaster. And so I did... It's kind of like a patch-up job. If you see it in person, you'll see what I mean. It's like, it looks nice on camera, but there's, you know, there's more work to be done. But I have a big uh, basement job. I got to call... Got to call uh, Dry Mish, bro. Got to support my foundation. Got a little bit of movement. So I did a cheap job. I spent about 500 bucks total on paint and things. So it's really not that expensive. Uh, so that I could enjoy sitting down here, you know? And I have my music studio right there on the other side. I'll probably show you guys that tomorrow. Probably not tonight. I'll play a little piano, a little violin. You know, basic stuff, basic Sunday activities. My violin teacher came over last night after his concert in Toledo and played a little bit for me. We're going to do some stuff down here. I'm excited about that. He's an actual professional musician. Oh, have I been learning to play an instrument? <laughs> I have been actually, Nate. <laughs> I have been I've been practicing a lot. Primary blend, what's up? Happy to have you. Are you new? Welcome. Primary blend, as in weed or coffee <laughs> or salad uh, leaves. <laughs> weed is highly illegal there. I know, Zumbi. Uh, yes. Came from Dragon Ball Z tournament on Twitch. Random, right on, man. Or are you a he, she, or a they? How do you identify? So I can properly address you. <coughs> Will I be playing anything? I am playing something, but we just started talking and I'm just kind of like vibing, you know what I'm saying? I haven't been uh, live in a while, so everyone's kind of just like, you know, we're just chilling, listening to freaking tunes, bro. It's Movement Weekend! Woo! Yeah, what's the point, Haley? There's no reason to, you know? Yeah, there's no reason. I'm sorry, guys. I will I will look into and try to have for tomorrow. I'll try to have ready um, a translator for you guys, uh, a closed caption. 
that's connected to my mic because they work really good now and the one that Hassan has is like very good actually it's it's actually crazy how good it works You could live in Michigan, Haley. Do I like Star Wars? I do. I, I don't consider myself like some big Star Wars super fan or anything, but I've watched all of the movies many, many times. Um, I, I enjoy it very much as a like an like a what, what is it called? I'm not an enthusiast, but I, I I like it a lot. You know, I'll always see all of the side movies and everything. I have Disney Plus just so that I can watch the Star Wars movies, so I like it that much. You know. But I don't claim to know very much about it or anything like that. Just, a, you know, just a casual lover of good sci-fi. <laughs> Panda, that's actually not why they took it away. They took it... The, the, the real history behind why uh, cannabis in particular became a schedule one is actually so much more stupid and so much more predictable and sadly very american okay in nature the drug czar at the time was in charge of prohibition okay and prohibition had just been repealed so that whole entire department was about to just be dissolved in the government because it didn't need to exist anymore and this like most people that are in power don't want to lose that position of power and so the person at the time i don't remember their name but the person at the time at the repeal of prohibition decided to vilify and this is once again one of those purely american things it's rooted in racism vilify cannabis because it was easy to uh to prosecute people of color Okay, and that was like everybody smoked weed. <laughs> so they made it completely illegal so that that person could not lose his fucking government job. And we to this day call it a schedule one based on no science at all, just based on the idea that uh, it's a gateway drug. And that's more or less been disproven as well. They need prisoners for money and they need to keep people down to keep a workforce going. If you if if you learn the real history of that weird switch that happened right there at Prohibition, it'll drive you insane. It'll drive you insane. Opioids are not Schedule One. Just saying. Schedule Two. I think like like isn't ecstasy Schedule Two? <laughs> it's going to change you guys because uh the status quo is changing the vast majority of people that are becoming voters and you know leaders of their communities understand that it's just not that big of a deal even if they have no interest in consuming it they understand that it's not it's not worse than alcohol. Like, let's just be, let's just, let's be clear. It's not worse than that. <laughs> and I, I think more and more people realize that now. It has so many medical benefits that it's unbelievable that it's not being utilized for that. I, I actually, it's not unbelievable because we live in a country that, uh, and, and a society that I think is more interested in suppression than curing, you know. Ex I mean, KG, she knows exactly what I'm talking about because she works in a pharmacy, so this is, like, right up in her face all the time. It The wheel of change moves very slowly, guys. It's like, this is something that I think you only start to understand as you get older. <laughs> There's no such thing as, like, dramatic change everything goes slow it comes to a head and then it changes you know like that's that's happening right now in this country there's going to be some changes that are coming because people in large groups are becoming fed up with 
certain things, you know? That's all I'm gonna say. Panda knows what I'm talking about. She's on my she's on my wavelength on this shit. Any yeah, exactly. I don't think that any health experts are suggesting that smoking weed is good for you, but cannabis as a plant, as organic matter, has many, many benefits to it that can be derived from it. No, smoking is bad, period. It doesn't matter what it is. You thought we would solve death in the 90s? I don't think we're going to solve that one. <laughs> Who wants to live forever, man? Come on. Go on. Don't you want to know? I do. I want to know. I want to know what's out there. Just read an uh, interview with a vampire to know that immortality sucks. <laughs> Cindy's like, brownies, however. Man made beer, God made pot. God is good, man is not. <laughs> Barbski, what's up, dude? It's been a long time, I know. I'm happy that you're here. Welcome. Loving the new setup. Thank you. I appreciate it. I worked hard. I will still make some minor tweaks and stuff, but I thought it was time to go live. I, I It took a little longer than I thought it would, and I didn't want to... I mean, not like anyone gives a shit, but I just was like, I want to go. Then just stop it, but Yago. I mean, de definitely, like, look, I'm a big proponent of it being legal, okay? But I'm not a big proponent of, like, everybody, like, getting baked all day. It's like, if you, if your life is being hindered by it, then you definitely shouldn't do it. But you shouldn't go to prison for having it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like... That's really what I'm talking about. Like, you should be allowed to uh, experiment with it and to create new medicines because all of that is good. You don't have to. No, you don't have to say. You know what I mean? But yeah, Yago for sure, man. If that's if that's happening, definitely, definitely. See you, face. Thank you uh, for coming, dude. I appreciate that, as always. Um, yeah, definitely. Like, just don't clear your mind, man. For sure, for sure. That's supposed to be something that's, uh, you know, for fun. Don't care about you. I don't care what your name is on here. You can put whatever you want. <laughs> You're building a lounge. Community needs more time. Your city population is 15,000. That's very small, yeah. My city population is small too. 30,000, I think. Music on the horizon? No, no, no. I'm retired. I make music for fun. For the sheer joy of it. Nothing else. If I share music, it'll be here, you know? YouTube. Anything that interferes with your actual consciousness and your real presentness, that's not good. You should not do that. Moderation. Prioritize. Well, primary blend, you know, on that point, I agree, but that's really up to the parents. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's up to individual families to teach their kids properly to not, you know, worship something like that. It's like, you can't 
that's like people that blame artists for being provocative. It's like, bitch, you're the parent. Don't let your kid listen to my music and my art if you think it's offensive. I mean, my job is not to raise your children. Just like that. You know, something being part of society that exists. There's a lot of stuff like that. It's up to parents to make sure kids don't get caught up in that stuff, you know? <clears throat> That's not true, Primary Blend. It's not accurate at all. I can tell you with 100% certainty that that's not how an artist thinks you make music you do what you think is cool or it moves you or you think uh you know that it's gonna bang in the club or something like that but no one is like "Ooh, i can mold i can fuck up a kid's existence with this that, that's not the case no no artist is putting out albums being like i can mold this group of people they're just not thinking about it like that thinking about the art they're thinking about the performance and the show and and the business to be frank you know kg i'm trying to forget my facebook debate era <laughs> <laughs> yeah see like it for you it didn't it didn't go I have a pretty decent perspective on the topic as well. Just, you know, just saying. I think that music business people, uh, you know, record executives whose sole job is to turn profits, I, I think that they probably think that way, but artists who are making music are not thinking like that. Even the most... Uh, shallow industry plant like person is tr is still at their core trying to just make music or something you know <clears throat> my I'm not gonna have an opinion <clears throat> based on what I saw I'll, I'll tell you my opinion okay based on what I saw from that trial I think it's pretty clear that she lied a lot okay I think that there's probably some truth on both sides. Okay. Uh, but definitely what she said is like, it's clearly not. If I'm on that jury, I'm like, <laughs> she's full of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we go to war in the comment sections, dude. Welcome back, Dom. This song is called Bonk, and I like that. She probably is a narcissist, yeah. But he might be too. I mean, like, don't be fooled. It's not like, let's... Listen, you guys. It's easy to take sides and to be super, like, black and white here. I promise you, the man is not totally innocent either. I guarantee that there is some truth to her stories as well, Okay. The severity of which, the severity of which is probably, uh, you know, not nearly as bad as she said. But I bet you that there's some truth to both sides. In this case, on the topic of this case, defamation, uh, historically, it's very difficult to prove defamation. Uh, so we'll see what the jury decides, you know? That's what... Nate gets it, dude. Like, listen, if if you're being real, the, some of those texts that he wrote and shit, like... That's like that... The person that wrote those is still, like, got, like, a fucked up head. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> I agree, JJ. In this case, though, of defamation, it seems to me, from the public view and in the in the scope of public opinion, that he will probably win this case. Um, 
But I wouldn't be surprised if she wins her counter case as well. I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. Yeah, she is a liar. They proved that she lied there in court. They did, but but you guys were all very heavily uh, influenced by Memeville, and we're not there, okay? We're not there in the room, and you're not there in the room with those jurors, and and this is in Virginia, okay? <laughs> so they might just be like, fuck Johnny Depp, you know what I mean? We'll see, man. We'll see. Are they really KG? Oh, my God. He did call Aquaman Aquanet. I laughed out loud when he did that as well, dude. I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that shit was funny. Her counter case is also defamation. You don't know those people. And you're, and you're seeing, again, versions of people. They know they're on on blast on television like they know that everyone's watching them i did nate you know it was pretty obvious right she definitely did you're praying for a tomo and lizzie mcalpine song zephyr how do you know about her i've been following that girl on instagram since she had like 800 followers and now she's like fully blowing up dude <laughs> That was one of those weird Instagram suggestions like where I click the search button and it like pops down a shitload of stuff, whatever, like the algorithm, you know? And she was right there in the top left. And I was like, oh, cool. You know, girl playing guitar. I always check that type of stuff out, you know? I click it and it's her. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, she went to Berkeley College of Music in Boston and it's her at school, just like jamming with somebody. and. I it wasn't like even something that I thought was very great, but I could tell that her voice was crazy and it made me go into her Instagram. And that's when I saw it. I was like, fuck, dude. I was like, this girl's if if someone's going to give her a shot, she's going to go because her songwriting is stupid good. Her melody is stupid good. And she's a monster guitar player as well. She's very. uh Oh, shit. Thank you, guys. She's very humble about her musicianship, uh, publicly at least. Maybe, I don't know, maybe she's not in person, but publicly, she's very humble uh, with her musicianship, and she's super good at guitar, you guys. Like, really very, very talented, very skilled musician. Lizzie McAlpine, if you don't listen to her, if you're into, like, uh, singer-songwriter, I don't know if it's folky. She has a little bit of a folk vibe to her, but singer-songwriter, just awesome. Awesome, she's great. And I would fucking love to do anything on one of her songs. Shit, I'd play the shit out of my guitar on her song. <laughs> you know, anybody out there, let her know. <laughs> yeah, like, think about the damage that she has done. And again, like I said, I'm responding from the court of public opinion. I didn't watch enough of the trial to have, like, a good assessment, really. I'm, 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 I'm just part of the, the cluck the clucker room, the chicken cluck room here talking. Uh, but if it's true, and it seems that it is, that everything she said was like wildly exaggerated and that it turns out that he was at least also also, oh, thank you, Primary. I appreciate that, man, for real. That he's uh, also a victim she has done horrible damage dude to the whole argument of like you know there's a lot of people out there that don't want to believe accusers like they're like fuck that and it's and it makes it difficult for legit people who really are victimized to come forward because then they like why would you why would you this chick just set it back so fucking far for legit cases man Yeah, it's too bad, you know? Hi, kitty. My cat wants food, guys. I'll be right back, okay? Like, literally, give me two seconds.
You like the sound? Yeah, go banardi. So bad. Why do you guys let me do stuff like that? Do I like Formula One? Um, okay, so the documentary about the Brazilian guy was amazing. It made me be like, wow, people should respect what these guys do a lot more. Senna, I think it was called. But that being said, I don't really like have a big interest in cars or racing or anything like that. So I guess the short answer is not really. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Senna, yeah, that, that documentary, my God, man. Oof, incredible. The guy was a, he was a monster. I'm like, Jesus, not, not like in a bad way, like, you know, dominating his sport. Ham, bacon, pineapple, or barbecue chicken with red onions, or pepperoni with banana peppers, onions, or green peppers. Pepperoni, mushroom, green pepper, never anything else, only that, always. Although, you know what? <laughs> Hey, Cindy, as I say that, I feel so foolish because barbecue chicken with red onions, it really is a good pizza. It's goddamn good pie. Can't lie. It's a good fucking pie. Oh, God, here we go. Haley's good to talk about fucking... Cheese pizza all the way. No, cheese pizza is great too. There's nothing wrong with just cheese pizza. That's a total. That's a total uh, classic. You can't go wrong with that. I thought you were gonna start talking about pineapples and all kinds of fucked up shit. <laughs> do I like paella from Valencia? Um, I do. We missed the hype train, guys. It's okay. Thank you though. I appreciate it. We already got one earlier. I do. Uh, the most traditional kind of paella, if I'm not mistaken, has like rabbit and like wooded kind of like small creatures basically bird maybe pepperoni mushroom is the best pepperoni mushroom pepperoni mushroom green pepper that's my that's my jam what's up mama bg Boom. Yeah, I don't either, Panda. I don't like it. You want to go to Chicago one day to eat an authentic deep dish? Uh, there's a bunch of Chicago people in here that can guide you to the proper place. Not all Chicago. Yo, thank you, Mama VG. I appreciate that. Not all Chicago deep dishes are created equal. That's a fact. Okay. Gorgeous. What's up, dude? Long time. Welcome back. So for chicky mushrooms and gravy only. Okay, that's fine. My favorite meal. People ask me that all the time. Uh, if I had to pick one meal to eat forever or one cuisine to eat forever, it would be probably be Japanese food. I think Japanese cuisine overall is the one that offers the most amounts of variety, flavor, and nutrition, okay? Because it's good for you. Really good for you. Clean, good clean food. I appreciate that, Elena. I will. I am coming to get that from you tomorrow. I will be in Spain in the morning. <laughs> Please send me your address. Thank you. <laughs> Do 
Dude, that's awesome, gorgeous. I'm really happy to hear that. Same, by the way. Same. Big same. I'm super happy to hear that. I know that you were having a bit of a hard time there last time we spoke. Fiber lol. <laughs> gotta have those gotta have those smooth moves, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> smooth moves, bitch. <laughs> Do I look kind of orange or pink to you guys? Do I have a, an orange hue? <laughs> You're going to be living above a Japanese restaurant. Oh. You better get a second job. Yeah, you did, Haley. You said that you had the menu on your lap or the phone or something like that. <laughs> I look tan, but like not from the sun, right? Like from some weird lights. I just noticed that it's got like a, I got a bit of a look here. Let me, let me see something. Filters, three. Uh-huh. Oh, nope, they're all off. Okay. I don't think it's better. I'll deal with that later. It's all... I look like I'm glowing in my shirt, too. Really? Okay, I guess I, I'll check it out later. I'll, I'll do... <laughs> I thought I had this all dialed. I guess not. <laughs> I just noticed. I was like, I've got a little bit of an orange look. I'm much whiter than this. You know, I haven't been out in the sun that much yet. It's good to hear, Gorgeous. I'm happy. RG on the right side. What do you mean? Content is too good? Dude, hell yeah. I just started up my stream again today for the first time in six months. I'll be back tomorrow. Please, come back. By all means, you know? Tomorrow, I'm hoping to have the Stanley Parable figured out. FaZe sent me some stuff to look at so I can fix it. Yeah. Do I ever watch Howard Stern? I don't, actually. When I was younger, uh, I would listen to Howard Stern in the morning on the radio. Going to culinary school, I remember. You have to wake up at like four in the morning to go to school. You're on death row. It's your last meal. What food do you choose? Ooh. You feel Twitch has a DJ aspect to it. It, it could. Yeah, it could. The people that are good at that definitely can uh, monetize their time DJing on here. That's a good question, Zephyr. I mean, I embrace my age, KG, all right? You want to know about some shit from the world? Ask me questions, all right? I've been around. I done lived. A fucking lasagna. I would force them to... I'm on death row. And like they're actually going to go through with what I ask. I am 100% going for it. I'm going to get them to bring me like my favorite thing from each restaurant. I'm going to have them fly shit in from New York. You know what I mean? Five guys. It's a burger joint. It's okay. I mean, you know. It's decent. Yeah. A great burger is all about the bun. That's what most people don't realize. 
Great Burger is all about the bun. So really, and you you live in Germany, so you're never gonna have an issue with bread. You guys make the best bread of anybody in the in the whole world, really. Eddie's beef jerky, oof, fantastico. Nader, it's sick, right? I'm happy you guys all like it. Be specific. Are you talking to me? I forgot what I said already. Oh, lay it on you. I would have... Okay, so for LA cuisine, I would be getting from Sugarfish. I want the full Nazawa. Okay. From... Okay, for steakhouses, I'm going to get it from Boa Steakhouse. Are you suggesting that I should do that primary blend? Send me a DM. I'm down to fucking uh, hear any good ideas. Uh, steak is going to come from Boa. That's in LA, okay? I'll keep it to LA, Michigan, and New York. So it's easier for them. I would also have them in LA go to Katsuya and give me two orders of crispy rice with spicy tuna on top. I would have them bring me two baked hand crab rolls. Good night, Karina. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it. I'm happy to know that you're safe. I would have them bring me seared albacore with garlic sauce and black truffles my mouth is watering I'm getting hungry um, okay that can cover it for LA because we don't have to go too crazy oh no no that can't cover it for LA because I need some Mexican food too so we're gonna get just like a selection of things from Pinch's Tacos okay that can cover LA now we're moving to Detroit to the Detroit area anyway we're going to go to Greek Town. We're going to get some Saganaki, flaming cheese. We're going to get a lamb shank with rice and potatoes. Uh, we're going to... Yes, I do. Thank you, Haley. Please send it. We're going to also get some junk food as well, okay? Because this is Detroit. So we're going to get some Coney Dogs. Detroit Coney Dogs, the actual ones, not some bullshit that's from somewhere else. Uh, the real Coney Dogs are from Detroit. Doesn't matter what anybody says. I'm right. You're wrong. Uh, <laughs> we got to have pizza. Going to get a couple of different ones because I like more than one spot. So we're going to get one from Cloverleaf. It's going to be cheese, pepperoni, mushroom, green pepper. Yep. Then we're going to also get one from Nikki's because I like their pizza as well. And it's going to be the same thing. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, Michigan. Well, you know, we'll probably get some fresh fish. So just get some fresh fish, okay? Sweet Agony. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll get some pies. Yeah, Michigan pies. I, I was going to save pastries for New York. Dominic Ansel is there. Um, so New York... It starts to get a little bit more tricky because New York has everything good. So New York will use for a pastry, okay? We're going to go to Dominic Ansel, and he is going to be flown to the jail to create pastry delights for us right there. Well, Flint, what I really mean is they all come from Detroit. Like, Flint has a legit Coney dog, but it came from here. You know, Michigan Coney dogs. What kind of fish? Here in Michigan? Rainbow trout, something that we can catch here locally. Uh, maybe something from Lake Superior. 
Would I have a THC dipping sauce? That sounds great. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Just go to my death with like pure fear and anxiety and stress. <laughs> my go-to junk food combination is uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> Any combination is fine. <laughs> Mexican pizza is back. Thank you, Doja Cat. Thank you, Doja Cat. <laughs> Toledo copies Detroit style. Yeah. Like people are catching on, right? We know we know how to do junk food. That's something we do well. There's a Taco Bell two doors down from me now. You guys, the Mexican pizza is back, dude. Oh, so good. It's a special thing, okay? Like, I mean, I'm getting Taco Bell. I'm getting Taco Bell, man. Do you, let me, can I ask you guys a serious question? Serious question. Oh, yo, <laughs> sweet agony, dude. That is so true. That was so funny. I ordered pizza. We were playing Gris, and I ordered pizza, and he was at the door, dude, and I forgot, and this dude was probably standing there for too long, right? And I'm just like, yo, da, da, da. <laughs> because of the fucking song of the fucking game. <laughs> the Mexican pizza is back, Zephyr. Yes, dude. Thank Doja Cat. Send Doja Cat a tweet. That happened. That's a true story. It was hilarious. I was embarrassed as fuck. The, the, the person, I opened the door and they were like, <laughs> just so, so not amused. They did not give a fuck what. We were having a good time over here and they were really annoyed. <laughs> Oh, KG. Yo, you and me shared that. I don't go nightly. I don't do that, but I do enjoy Taco Bell, all right? Mexican pizza, dude. It's back. Doja Cat is actually your mom. <laughs> Bless her heart, man. She did it. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be having this conversation, so I'm really grateful. Thank you, Doja Cat. Thank you for all the hard work that you've given us and all the hard work that you do. I drink directly from the two liter Mountain Dew. Yeah, it's my two liter. I'll drink directly from it if I want to. <laughs> How many Mexican pizzas can you guys eat at one time? Well, in one sitting, you mean like in one meal? It, for how hungry I am right now in this moment, I could easily, easily put down three, maybe four. Three Mexican pizzas by me right now would be inhaled, okay? They would be inhaled. <laughs> the Enchirito. People used to like that. <coughs> that was not for me. You can outsmoke me. I don't know that that's like some big achievement. I ain't Snoop Dogg or anything. It's not Mexican. Hey, no one's saying that it is, okay? I'm fully aware of the the gross appropriation that is Taco Bell. And it's, it's actually interesting, the story of Taco Bell, how it came to be. It was a a direct competitor to McDonald's because the McDonald's cheeseburger in paper like that, that was like a, a new thing that didn't really exist before. That was like a whole new way of doing food. And Taco Bell is, was a response to McDonald's. They wanted to have, a you know, a Mexican inspired meal that could compete with the burger, the, the McDonald's cheeseburger. And that's why the hard shell plain taco has beef, lettuce 
or beef, cheese, and tomato. They wanted it to have like a similar vibe. But yeah, there's no, there's nothing Mexican about Taco Bell. Nothing at all. It's just fantastic. It's just wonderful. It's like a Twinkie. There's nothing good about it, but it's fantastic. You guys, um, we're at the three hour mark for my stream. I think I'm going to cut it because I was planning on doing a little bit of a shorter one today anyway, just to kind of like, you know, dust the cobwebs off. And I'm hungry and I'm going to go to Taco Bell and get fucking Mexican pizza and two hard shell tacos. <laughs> Are you guys going to be bummed out? I'll, I will, I'm going to stream tomorrow. You've made pizza, though. Speaking of pizza, so have I. Yeah, I'm going to cut the stream for the night. I'm so happy that you guys came. I really appreciate it. It was a much better turnout than I expected. Honestly, I wasn't sure if anyone would even come. <laughs> it's been long enough that people are like, yeah, we forget. We, we forgot about you, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> mcdonald's is the big mac sauce it's just uh ketchup mayonnaise and relish just take ketchup mayonnaise and relish and mix it up and you basically have it <laughs> but yeah i missed you guys i really appreciate it i am gonna go so i can eat i'm gonna also like just do a little bit of housekeeping here now that i've gone live i can see what went wrong what didn't work uh i'm gonna make sure i have studio side ready to go I, it's ready to go i just want to get like a camera angle basically um, I hope you guys will be back tomorrow. I will play piano and maybe a little bit of violin for you. Uh, and then stay tuned because there's going to be... The stream is going to be different now than it used to be, okay? I'm going to be doing different things every day. And I think you guys will be surprised when you see what's going on. So, yeah, dudes. For real. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it so much. It's, uh... It's freaking good to be back, brothers and sisters, and everything in between. I will see you all fucking later, man. Bye.